Hello everyone. Welcome to Harris BI. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the use case with field parameters. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button to get the latest updates on Power BI. Field parameter is one of the latest feature. In case if you have not used, let me show you how to use the field parameters first. You have to go to file option and go to options and go to options. Field parameter is a preview feature. So you need to make sure to enable that field parameter under preview features. So here you can see I have enabled it. Once you have enabled under modeling, you can see a parameter called the fields. So using this field parameter, you can easily add multiple columns or measures and you can easily change the columns with the slices. Let me show you with the use case. Let's say you have a table called the product, which has a list of product names. This table contains units and amounts for each country. Let's say you have something for USA, UK and China. So let's say you have a data something like this and you want to show you a specific columns, let's say amount and units for USA in case if user select country as a USA, same for UK and China. And we have another table called country. So this will be uh, used for the slices. So let's say let's say we can create a slicer using this country change it to slicer and we have this uh, slicer adder and if user choose UK then they want to see the product units and amount specific for UK I'm going to add a table with all of this column let's say I'm going to choose product which is nothing but product name units amount and again for a UK units amount then finally china and the china amount so now i have added all of these columns in this table now we can choose any of the country here let's say i'm choosing uk you can see there is no changes happen in this uh, table because if you see the relationship model there is no relationship built between this country and the product table because we don't have a proper column to join these two table let's see how to achieve this scenario with this field parameter To create a field parameter, go to new, new parameters and choose fields and you can name the parameter. Let's say I'm going to say FP underscore country and here I'm going to add all the columns which I want to show dynamically based on the country selection. I'm going to choose unit USA first and then amount, then UK units and amount and then you China units and then amount. So I'm just trying to select in the order so that uh, it will be easy for us to create a new aggregated column. I don't want to add this as a slicer so I can uncheck this click create. So once you have created a field parameter it will be creating a new DAX table with this syntax and for this syntax you can see we have uh, all the columns defined. On this syntax I'm going to add a new column called USA because these two these two rows are specific for USA I'm going to say USA so basically I'm adding a new column on this script for all of these rows say UK same for this row UK and then uh, the last one is China Okay, once you have created just click this tick symbol to update this table now you can see there is new column added called value 4 you can go and check in the data view so this is the column you can rename it let's say if you want to rename you can rename it uh, let's say country so now we have created a new column with all of these values if you go to model view we have countries which has a list of distinct countries and we have the field parameter table created which has a country so I'm going to create a relationship between these two table using this country column then it is connected through one to many because this has a distinct list of countries and this has uh, uh, duplicates because uh, we have one country for unit one country for amount now you can go to the report view now let's add this country so now now we have added this this country as a slicer the main country table as a slicer on this main table I'm going to remove all of this column except the product name 
instead of using this individual column we are going to use this column which is created using the field parameter so i'm just drag and drop here so once i have added you can see since usa is selected it is showing the product name uh, units and amount for usa if i uncheck it is going to show all the country units and amount you can choose any country and it is going to choose one, uh, show only that specific country uh, units and amount for each product so now we achieved the result so basically this this is achieved through the field parameter and created the relationship on the newly created uh, column with the existing country table and thank you